low-level students. In this lesson, you will be introduced to Test 9 to Test 12 of Paper 2 of the 2020 O-Level Paper. You were already introduced to Paper 1 of your 2020 O-Level Paper. If you haven't watched those lessons yet, please do. Let's start off this session with the first question in your Paper 2. Test 9. You are asked to read and underline the most suitable word given within brackets. In order to help you, the first one is done for you. This question is in the form of a prose text and three options of the possible answer are given for each missing word. Read the question carefully. You are supposed to underline the correct word. When you read the sentence, you will get an idea of which word, verb or noun would best suit the sentence. You will be getting five marks for this section, so let's do it right. Let's do it together. Here is a newcomer to your class. Why don't you welcome him with a loud applause, said the teacher, introducing a new friend to the class. That was how Sugath became our classmate. He was very supportive and cooperative in everything we did, so he became popular with us. At the term end examination, he did better than most of us. He will bring credit to our school one day, we thought. Unfortunately, he did not stay long in our school. He left our school to join his previous school again. We still remember him with love. How sad it is to be away from a good friend like Sugat. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's now swiftly move on to test 10. Complete the question to get the underlined part as the answer. The first one is done for you. It's about Dr. Arthur C. Clarke. Let's read the statements and figure out how to write the questions. Luckily, they have provided the question words at the beginning of the sentence to make it easy for you. Let's do it together. Dr. Arthur C. Clarke is a famous science fiction writer. Who is Dr. Arthur C. Clarke? He was born in England. Where was he born? His childhood dream was to become a space scientist. What was his childhood dream? Dr. Clark immigrated to Sri Lanka in 1956. When did Dr. Clark immigrate to Sri Lanka? He loved Sri Lanka because it has many beautiful beaches. Why did he love Sri Lanka? Dr. Clark lived in Sri Lanka for 52 years. For how long did Dr. Clark live in Sri Lanka? That was simple because you simply had to fill in the missing spaces. For this exercise too, you are awarded five marks. Let's now look at text 11. You are given some words in a box and you are asked to fill in the blanks using those words. I would suggest that for this task, you strike out the word that you use in the box so that you won't get confused about what words are left for use. Remember, there should be one extra word. Let's first read the words in the box. Especially, best, kites, brothers, beginning, interests, in, was, twins, together, different, quiet, liked, making, bicycles. Let's now read the passage and figure out what it's about and use the most suitable words. It is a description of the Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville. Let's read it together, shall we, and figure out what suits the blanks the best. The Wright brothers, Wilbur and Orville, are well known for inventing the aeroplane. Wilbur Wright was born on a farm near Indiana on April 16, 1867. His younger brother, Orville, was born four years later in Dayton, Ohio, in August 19, 
1871. The Wright brothers were like twins. They had the same interests. They played, worked and planned everything together. But they were also different. Wilbur worked slowly, was quiet and very serious. Orville worked fast and liked to talk and joke. They were both good students, especially in mathematics, but they were the best in all of Devon at fixing and making things. They made the finest kites, and making kites was the beginning of their interest in flying. Next, they started preparing bicycles. Soon they were making and selling their own bikes at the Wright Cycle Company. Finally, let's look at test 12. This requires you to figure out what verb has been used. If you want to refresh your memory on the different verbs and their functions, do look at some of our previous lessons on the present, past and future tenses. Let's look at the question. Complete the following passage using the most appropriate form of the verb given within brackets. This exercise is in the form of a paragraph. You are requested to complete the following passage using the most appropriate form of the verb given within brackets. As usual, the first question is done for you. Animated movies are very popular in the world today. Many people consider Winsor McCay to be the father of animation. In the early 1900s, he created animated movies with the photographs of hand-drawn pictures. Hundreds of photographs were needed to make even a one-minute movie. However, the production of animated movies changed a lot since its inception in the 1900s. Today, most animated movies are produced with special computer software. Unlike hand-drawn animation, the work can be done much faster by a computer. Anyone with a home computer and special software can make a simple animation in a few minutes. If you want to know more about the different tenses, I urge you to look at some of our previous lessons on the present, past and future tenses. Do click on our next two lessons on paper 2 of your 2020 O-Level English Language Examination. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel and be alerted to more lessons like the one you just viewed. See you soon.